Welcome back. Some of us can only dream to see 100 years. Only a very fortunate few reach such a milestone. Today we met Elfrida Elliott, more lovingly called Tante Elfrida, who has joined that elite group. Senior Sherilyn Lewis and Shaka Tallisford visited the Maruga Centarian's birthday celebration at the St. John's London's Baptist Church in Port of Spain. Elfrida Elliott was born in the year 1915 in Maruga. In 2015, Elfrida is celebrating her 100th birthday, a day not everyone may live to see. But for Elfrida Elliott, it was a day spent among her closest relatives and loved ones in the presence of God and the St. John's Baptist Church in Port of Spain. Elfrida, who is fortunately still very healthy and upbeat, says her upbringing was not an easy one as she grew up without her parents. When my life was not so good, I was grandparents. My mother went to me and I said, so I grew up with the, my grandmother and I was very nice you know, but they couldn't afford the right thing. They gave what they have. You know, they couldn't find more and whatever they gave. I... As an adult, Elfrida says, she became a single mother when her partner passed away after the birth of her first child. My father went away to work and he died. So I had him. To say when he was there, you yeah. know, went to me. So you're a widow? Yes, I, I struggle with life. And I make life easy for my own self. And them, because they get the education. I didn't. Alfreda has two children, Astrid Elliot Bryant and Trevor Elliot, both of whom praised their mother for their bringing. It's a blessing. You know, as I said earlier on, long ago people lived for years and years and now we are young people dying. You know, people just dying and not fulfilling what they're supposed to do in life. And to see my mother has got to a hundred and she has accomplished a lot. Trevor, who is the younger of Elfrida's children, says the family has faced some challenges, but they continue to persevere. You send up the school, you get everything at the best way as a mother. Astrid and I, we grew up not in the best way, kind of thing, but we lived a good life. In those days, as in the 40s and 50s, we had nothing but we grew up in a and mommy, we did really good. Alfreda, who is the only surviving sibling in her family, worked as a nurse at the San Fernando General Hospital up until her retirement. Charlotte Lewis, C News.